for the final of the Motorquip British Rallycross Grand Prix. And there is the man most likely to succeed. This is his last race before retiring, and it is Seppo Nittimarki, the champion of Rallycross of Europe in 1987. His car, the mighty Group B Peugeot 205, 650 horsepower, which he has just sold to Teryuski for a sum of money approaching 200,000 pounds, would you believe? But there in the background is Will Gollop in the MG Metro 6R4, fourth in the European Championship. And this, number one, is the British champion of 1987, Mark Rennison, who, with Seppo Nittimarki, is tying for the fastest time at Brands Hatch today in his Ford RS200 turbocharged car, 650 horsepower. He was one of the victorious British rally cross team in the Internations Cup contest at Croft last weekend. And Mark Renison means to win this race. 25 years old, he may be going into Formula 3 single-seater racing next year, but what matters now is this final of the Rallycross Grand Prix. Making up the rest of the front rank, the single car of Michael Nordstrom, another Ford RS200, Will Gollop in the Metro, which has only got about 400 horsepower compared with the 650 horsepower of the cars in the front row in front of him. Then Martinson in the BMW M3 four-wheel drive, which develops over 700 horsepower, so he may well blast off. And that in the back rank, having won the B final in his first competitive rallycross meeting, Grand Prix world champion in the three and a half litre class, Dr. Jonathan Palmer. And now we are ready to go. It is a four and a half lap race. The starting official is clearing the grid. It is any second now. And away they go, a searing start by Will Cullum with Seppo Nittimarki, but into the lead goes Michael Nordstrom in the RS200, and John Smith spins off in the background at uh, the entrance of Paddock Turn. So now let's look and see how Jonathan Palmer saw it as he sprinted off from the line. There is John Smith's yellow and blue car ahead of him. Pekka Ranton on the right, and Pekka Ranton in the RS200 hits John Smith, who goes backwards into the Armco. Pekka Ranton and goes on, and so does Jonathan Palmer. That's one place gained anyway. And Seppo Nittimarki is, is down in fifth position. Seppo Nittimarki, who started in pole position, has got Michael Nordstrom in front of him. There is Mark Rennison in second position. Will Gollop is in fourth place. Seppo Nittimarki, the European champion, in his last race before he retires, and he desperately wants to win this British, British Rallycross Grand Prix, is only in fifth place. And Renison's car is smoking very badly indeed as he goes through the gap for the, first, the chicane for the first time. It's only Arneson in third position now, the man who won the British Rallycross Grand Prix in 1983. Nobody has won this British Rallycross Grand Prix twice yet. But still, Michael Nordstrom, 37 years old, the ex-four-wheel drive VW Beetle driver, leads Mark Renison. It's a four-and-a-half lap race. Ford RS200 leads. Ford RS200 smoking badly. Mark Renison in second place. He blew an engine at Croft last weekend. That engine has been rebuilt and put into this car. So it's still Nordstrom leading. Renison in second place, number one. The British champion, and he's being nudged by Oli Arneson, who is a notably aggressive driver, the Swedish-European champion from the past, 1983. And he has been the GT European champion three years, Oli Arneson. So now, as they go into paddock turn again, down tumble down hill again, it's still Nordstrom leading, Renison second, Arneson in the Audi Quattro four-wheel drive car, the S1 in third position, fourth is Will Gollop, and still fifth position is Seppo Nittimarki. The European champion is being well and truly shown the way in this rally cross final for the British Grand Prix, the only rally cross event to carry the Grand Prix title, and now Renison is challenging Nordstrom with two laps to go. 
This race is developing between the two Ford RS200 turbocharged cars, the black and red one of Michael Nortra for Sweden. And now Arneson is having a go at Renison, who has lost time. He slid badly, exiting the Hoppy's Drop section. Now they go into the chicane and they will very shortly be starting their last lap as Michael Nordstrom goes into Paddock Turn, down Tumble Down Hill. It would seem that Mark Renison, unless he can close up on Hillwood Hill, is not going to be able to do anything about the 37-year-old Swede in front of him. And back with Jonathan Palmer chasing Pekka Rantanen, as he has been doing for the whole race. Off the track, down Tumble Down Hill, down towards the S's, the brake lights from the RS200 in front stab on, and we're past Martinson's BMW M3. But even with the X-Track four-wheel drive and 650 horsepower, Jonathan Palmer can't get up alongside the RS200, let alone get past it, and there's smoke, smoke from the cockpit, through Langley's Gap, Jonathan Palmer is in trouble. He looks down, there's smoke everywhere, and there's no smoking allowed in, a, in an escort. So, off the track and out of the race goes Jonathan Palmer. One lap to go. We are now on the last lap, and Renison's door is open. Renison's door is flapping open. That happened earlier today, and they hoped they'd fixed it. But so, as they come into the last half lap in the British Rallycross Grand Prix, it's Michael Nordstrom, Ford RS200 leading. Mark Renison second. There he is. Ole Arneson, the ex-winner, is third. It looks as though we are going to have a new winner. Jonathan Palmer, who won the B final, has retired. Will Gollop is in fourth position in the Metro 6 r 4 Seppo Nitimaki, the European champion, is still fifth and open comes. Renison's door again and it's throwing him. Arneson charges up alongside it. Look at Gollop. Gollop is up into second place. Fantastic bit of driving. Will Gollop in the Metro 6R4, normally aspirated car, and Seppo Nitimaki goes off. Gollop is going to finish second place. A magnificent drive, but the winner is Michael Nordstrom from Sweden. A new winner to join Rolf Nilsson, Ole Arneson, Martin Schenker, John Welch and Andy Benzer, the past winners.